Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Ash Hilton, a UK medical school admissions tutor. And what I'm about to show you is one of the videos from my online course for how you can get into your top choice medical school. For any of the PDFs or resources that we talk about, just head to futuredoc.co. And if you wanna see some regular videos, I'll be posting weekly videos on here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe in the bottom corner. And that said, enjoy. Hello and welcome back. I just wanted to talk in this lesson about some of the important aspects of the financial side of going to medical school and offer some advice on where you can find funding to help whilst you're studying. Going to medical is expensive, but it is doable for those who have the drive to do so. Please see the medical school's comparison tool for a breakdown of some of the fees you can expect as you go through the application phase and general tuition rates for some of the best UK medical schools. I'll also include tips for living frugally during your studies. Just a quick note on Brexit. Recently, the country held a referendum vote in which we decided that we no longer wanted to be part of the European Union, otherwise known as the EU. This has left us uncertain about how the future will pan out for EU citizens in the UK. However, for study, it was announced that EU students will still pay the UK prices when and if Brexit goes ahead. Therefore, no need to worry about changes at present. Obviously, Brexit does not apply to applicants from outside of the EU. Let's now discuss some key differences for international students applying to the UK. Fees are considerably higher for non-EU students and vary widely from £14,000 to £39,000 per year. These usually depend on the year of study, pre-clinical years being slightly cheaper than clinical years. If you decide to take an intercalated degree, they often charge a separate fee for this, which is usually significantly cheaper. EU students are eligible for tuition fee loans, maintenance loans and maintenance grants. The NHS even funds the final year of study for domestic students, but unfortunately this is not provided for non-EU students. Again, see our medical school comparison tool for a current breakdown of all the fees for both EU and non-EU students. Essentially, university is expensive no matter where you're from. Unless you're fortunate enough to have these fees paid for, the reality is that, no matter where you're from, you will probably end up with a considerably large amount of debt. Funding is not available to non-EU students by the government, but there may be other ways. We have provided some links to help with this. Firstly, the British Council Office, your local Ministry of Education, or your country's embassy will be able to provide information on any scholarships available to your specific situation. The medical schools themselves have a few scholarships or bursaries that you can inquire about individually once you've decided where you'd like to apply. Currently, universities charging more than £6,000 a year must provide some financial support to students from disadvantaged backgrounds, though this may change in light of the recent fee increases. Check your eligibility in the links attached. Massive congratulations! You have now made it to the end of the second module. At this stage, you have all the things you need to start building your application. Well done for getting this far. You're not far off from realising your dream of becoming a doctor. I'll see you in the next module, where I'll show you how to write and submit a truly outstanding medical school application, and what else you need to do to secure an interview at medical school. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it really useful with loads of actionable tips that you can use to get into your top choice medical school. I'll be posting weekly videos, so make sure you subscribe in the bottom corner. And if there's anything that you want to see from the video, like resources or PDFs, just head to futuredoc.co and you can find everything there. Thanks a lot and take care.